about the pink girl? What do you know? Doctor? Doctor Kindel. Doctor. Doctor. Hmm? Your notes? Oh, right. The patient seems to be progressing every day. I've had two therapy sessions with him for the past six months, and I really think he's opening up. Thank you. Damn, I like get it as a blonde. Wow. <laughs> This is kind of weird. This is what I would look like if I were blonde and really, really pale. Hey, Puddin! All right, so we're going to start off with a blonde wig and a disgustingly pale face. Then I'm going to struggle to put my wig into pigtails and spray it blue and red. And once you look like Baby Doll from Sucker Punch, you're ready to get started. Actually, wait, hold on. So I cut myself earlier. Oh, dang it. Trying to get some fencing in the house and it just opened up again. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, once we're done bleeding out, we're gonna start with a fluffy brush and a red eyeshadow and, you know, struggling to get the weave out the face because it's annoying. Then we're going to take the red and just apply that in the crease. And I use the brush to drag it down my face. Most other people use their fingers. I don't know, I feel like it just, I just thought it would have come out better with the brush. You can use your fingers if you want. You want to get like that, you can. And then obviously to the other side with the blue. I'm going to line my top lash line with my NYC liquid liner, which is only $2 and I love it. And I'm giving myself a baby wing because she doesn't really have a wing. Then I'm taking my MAC Smolder eyeliner and just applying that on my lower lash line and smudging that out with a fluffy brush. Next, for the uh, obvious red lips, I'm taking my NYX Suede Lipstick in Kitten Heels. And we're not going to stop there. We're going to actually drag this out. Like in the comics, she actually has this Joker-esque smile. So I'm going to do that just because I didn't want it to be too, too much like the movie, but somewhat like the movie. Then for her tattoo, I'm taking the same liquid liner and applying the heart on the blue side because it is on the blue side. And to make it look like a tattoo, just apply a translucent powder over it. And that's it for your Harley Quinn look. Soul Puddings, if you aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that like button. And also, don't forget to comment down below on what you guys would like to see next. Bye! I have a terrible, terrible Harley Quinn voice. So we're going to have to deal with that. Should I add raisin nuts to the favorites pile? <laughs>